Hi, hello, howdy do everyone, Starry Z here, and today we are going to be talking about Absolute Radiance, the best buff move in the entire game if you're with a team. I'll, I'll get into that in a second, but before we get into the details and what everything Absolute Radiance does, I think it's best to start off with how to actually obtain Absolute Radiance, since I kind of fucked that up in my Gilded Strike video. Now, if you go to the Arcane Lineage Trello, it actually says how you can obtain Absolute Radiance, and that is defeating the Yarthal boss. However, that is slightly a lie, because there's actually two ways to obtain Absolute Radiance. Now, yes, Yarthal has a chance to drop the Lost Scroll of Absolute Radiance. However, there is a second way to do that, and that is through gambling. N not this gambling, where you can give gold and get double the gold back if you win a game, but rather this type of gambling. Basically, this NPC will give you a random scroll for 300 coins. Now, that scroll is completely random and it can be any scroll in the game. Hell, I didn't even know you could obtain Absolute Radiance until, like, I accidentally rolled it from this guy. Why was I farming scrolls? I don't know, I was just bored. Either way, bore them one out and I got Absolute Radiance. So, victory for me. This means if difficulties like Legendary Mode or Normal Mode, you won't have to fight the Yarthol boss immediately to get Absolute Radiant. Rather, while you're playing the game, you can just gamble 300 coins here and there in order to have a chance to get your Absolute Radiant that your team oh so desperately needs. Now, what makes Absolute Radiance oh so good? Well, let's get into that right now. Absolute Radiance is an 18 turn cooldown move that lasts for six turns. Additionally, this move buffs everyone on the field. And every turn that's on the field for, it gets a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger, until it explodes. Now, explosion does not deal any damage to you or your opponent, rather that just means you'll lose the buffs after the sixth turn. Now, I'm going to give a quick calculation of the amount of damage you deal on the last turn of the buff being out. Because, let's be real, that's what really matters, the last turn clutch. <laughs> Plus, most likely you'll be using moves that are either undodgeable or unblockable, meaning you're more likely to hit the attack. Such as Bloody Eruption, which is the attack that I used for this video. Now, against this Cess Horror, I was able to do a maximum damage of 56 with Bloody Eruption. No buffs added, no... just 56 base damage. Now, on the very, very last turn of Absolute Radiance being out and launching the attack, I rounded the damage I dealt to the Cess Horror to be around 89 damage. Now, doing some quick calculations, we are able to determine that the percentage increase of damage you deal is around 58 to 59 percent, which is huge, meaning just saving your most powerful moves or just attacks in general for the last turn of Absolute Radiance helps your damage output a lot. Now, it's not terrible for solo play, because I mean, you still get a 58 percent buff to your damage. However, in the same amount of time that you would get that 58 damage buff, you could have buffed yourself with bulk up and bard moves in order to be able to, you know, one-shot these corpses. As I was saying, Absolute Radiance is best if you're used in a team or boss fights, etc, etc. That's the best time to use it because the cost is not worth doing it solo. This is a support move for your team, not a support move for yourself, unlike Immolation or bulk up. Emulation being a good alternative because you do get stronger buffs as the game goes on for the entire game, but in exchange you get dealt burn damage, and that's a fair trade-off, especially if you're going solo. And bulk up just makes it so you deal more damage for the entirety of the game, but in exchange you get dealt more damage. Again, a fair trade-off. Absolute Radiance is only a great trade-off if you have two or three members in your party that can additionally well, buff themselves, debuff the enemies, and then all three of you attack together. Since all three of you are dealing more damage, and your overall party damage is getting boosted by 58%, instead of your damage only getting buffed by 58%. Anyways, that's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this helped you understand Absolute Radiance a little bit better, and help you determine when you should use it and when you shouldn't use it. it basically, solo player team play. That's all I have to say. You have a good one. Peace.